Hey, what's going on? I know it's about two weeks late, but this is my review of the 2013 Calgary Comic and Entertainment Expo. So enjoy. Um, basically, I'm going to start off with a review of the convention itself, and then I'm going to move on to my own personal experiences at the convention, which I had plenty this year. Um, I guess to start off, I mean, talking to a lot of people, especially on Friday, um, a lot of people weren't really sure what to expect because of all the changes they were making or whether or not the changes were actually going to do anything to alleviate the problems from last year. Um, I think last year the convention got as big as it's going to get uh, with the Star Trek and uh, reunion and all that. But uh, yeah, I think at the end of the day this year the organizers did an amazing job uh, to make sure that people got in quickly, um, were situated right, got to the lines they needed to be in. And I think for the most part, most people that wanted to see what they wanted to see got to see it. Um, people who wanted to meet who they wanted to meet got to meet them. So, um, talking to a few people in lines and just a general consensus of people online, it seems like this year was a gigantic success, and that's my opinion as well. Um, I think a few minor things that need to work on is the communication between the, um, I'm going to call them yellow shirts and red shirts. Obviously, I think everyone, anyone that was there knows what I'm talking about. You had the volunteers and the red shirts, you had the um, outside security company in the yellow shirts. Um, they, at times, were giving completely different information. Um, it seemed like some of them had no clue what they were talking about. And I think there just needs to be better communication. Um, obviously, dealing with a room with 50,000 people in it, you know, not everybody's going to be on the same page. It's almost impossible for that to happen. But um, to be given two completely different sets of instructions within 45 seconds of each other from two different people wasn't right. I think next year, if you're going to hire a private security again, they need to be in the same room during the planning process. You can't have the security guards, you know, getting their information and volunteers getting their information and then expecting them to communicate once the show starts. It just, I kind of found it didn't work. Um, but other than that, it was a huge success. So good on you, Kyrie Comic Expo. And I can't wait for Edmonton in September. <laughs> Um, I guess personal experiences, um, really showed up Friday morning, not really sure what to expect this year. Um, like I said, like everybody else, not sure how the lines were going to work and, you know, for, if you're going to be waiting hours to get in once the doors actually were opened, um, you know, and instantly I think those problems were alleviated and, you know, got in right away. It was awesome and I had a great time. Um met a lot of cool celebrities, I mean, obviously with the some of the big names uh, from Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, um, Weed and Verse, I mean it was, like, they had a huge lineup this year um, that kind of spanned a lot of different genres, which was really cool. Um, I think last year, which is the Star Trek thing, I mean, you had a lot of people coming in for Star Trek. Last year, other than Star Trek, there were some big names, but it really wasn't like, it wasn't, like, it wasn't, it didn't have the same kind of feel. You know, it, like, last year it almost felt like a Star Trek convention, which isn't a bad thing, but it, that's what it was last year. Uh, this year, I think there was just a huge amount of, like, it was just, it, there was always something new and different to look at, so that was awesome. Um, you know, met some amazing people. Um, you always meet cool people at these things. Uh, you know, I didn't expect to meet so many people. Um, and have, you know, you know, keep, be keeping in touch with most of them to this day. It's been two weeks later and, you know, talking to a lot of these people almost daily, which is awesome. And, yeah, like, you always meet really, you know, cool people. And I wasn't really, I really wasn't expecting to meet a lot of people. And, you know, I think that, you know, that, that was probably the highlight of my convention. You know, it's just meeting a lot of like-minded people. I don't really get that a lot in my life. Um, I kind of have to hide my geek geekdom from a lot of my friends. So to meet people who had the similar interests and were into the same things as me, that was actually really cool. So, um, you know, that was the highlight of my convention. So, um, yeah, going into 2014, um, there is a lot, a lot of, you know, great work that they did this year that I think is going to carry into next year. Um, I think they need to maybe push on with, uh, um, I think the one, th okay, 
I think the one thing that's actually going to make them kind of jump into that level of San Diego Comic Con, and Stephen Yuen from Walking Dead said it in the panel, he, he said this is Walking Dead level, which, I mean, you can't get a better compliment from, than that um, in any convention. To be compared to the convention, that's like the biggest compliment you can get. So um, I think what could actually put Calgary into that level is to bring some more current um, current movie stars and um, current you know things going on with everything that's happening right now in you know the world of movies. Um, we've got obviously Marvel. Marvel's doing some great things right now. You know we've got Thor, Iron Man, Avengers, uh, Captain America. You know all of that. You know just maybe start bringing in some of those people um, to even promote the to promote the movies. Um, I think 2013 would have been the best opportunity for them for bringing anybody from Iron Man, um, seeing as the movie opened a week later. <laughs> um, you know, to bring someone in, I mean, you know, even for a day, even for like the Friday night or Saturday night, just do a quick Q&A, um, you know, that would, have been, that would have brought international media. So um, I think that's one thing they need to improve on is uh, to be, bring more of current people. I mean, next year, you're going to have a lot of opportunity to do that. You're going to have DC, um, DC's Justice League movie, which is uh, reportedly going to be, you know, you know, getting worked on really, really soon here. Guys, come on. <laughs> like, this, you got the opportunity here to really make our, make Calgary the San Diego of Canada. Um, we'll never get the type of people that Toronto gets. Toronto can bring in 100,000 people because they have the space for it. But I don't think that makes for, you know, the biggest convention because, oh, we have the most people. That doesn't make the biggest convention. Um, I think um, just buzz and word of mouth makes it the biggest convention. Um, if more people are excited about, you know, the Calgary Expo than Toronto Fan Expo, then you know what? I would say we're the biggest expo. So, yeah, that's my, uh, that's my opinion on that. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, um, I'm going to be hopefully going to uh, Edmonton in September, which is going to be awesome. So, um, you know, look forward to that. And, um, yeah, if anybody has any comments or you have your own personal experiences to share, um, leave me a message in the bottom or, you know, even send me a video response. 